Welcome to Remitter, a multi-bank, multi-channel, e-collections, e-invoicing, e-payment, and e-payroll platform. We assume that by now you will have received your login details and changed your default password to another password of your choice. If you do not have your login details, kindly contact your administrator at your bank head office to grant you access. This video is designed to give you a quick guide on how to perform your tasks as a branch user on Remitter. As customers approach your branch to register on the platform, activate standing orders and direct debit mandates or make payments with a unique code known as Remitter Retrieval Reference RRR. To process or retrieve RRR for customers who want to pay salaries, pay pension to all PFAs at once, pay vendors and suppliers, pay remitter bailers, pay taxes, pay family, friends and others, you are required to take the following steps. Step one, log in to remitter with your credentials, user ID, password and organization ID. Step two, as a first time user, you are required to change your password by taking the following steps. Select security questions and provide answers. Supply a personal security number, PSN. The PSN is a two to four digit number. Select an operator such as plus, minus, multiplication, division, or do nothing. Please note that your personal security number and operator may be required to send your transactions for approval. If this authentication mode has been set up for users in your branch. Step 3. Select Branch Operations menu and click the Process RRR submenu. Step 4. Obtain RRR from the customer. Key it into the required field and click Continue to retrieve the transaction details pre-filled by the customer. Step 5. Collect appropriate payment from the customer. Confirm amount displayed. Key in deposit slip number and click the Send for Approval button. Step 6. Click OK to confirm or cancel to decline. Step 7. Click the printer image to print off receipt to payer. Please note that where transaction amount is within teller's limit, no other approval is required. Teller's till or funds holding account is immediately debited for onward processing to beneficiary's account. Transactions that have been approved will appear in your inbox with the print icon at the side while those awaiting approval can only be viewed. Where the customer does not have his or her RRR, you are required to take the following steps. Step 1. Select Branch Operations menu and click the Process RRR submenu. Step 2. Click here if you don't have an RRR. Step 3. Select what the customer wants to do. Where the customer wants to pay a bailer, click Pay Registered Remitter Bailers. Step 4. Key in payer's name, email, and phone number. Step 5. Type in the first alphabet of beneficiary or bailer's name while the platform auto generates all beneficiaries or bailers with similar letter. Step 6. Select the desired beneficiary or bailer from the list. Step 7. Select type of service. Step 8. Key in amount to pay. Step 9. Confirm amount to pay. Step 10. Get additional information from customer where required. Step 11. Click on submit. Step 12. Collect appropriate payment from the customer. Confirm amount displayed, key in deposit slip number, and click the Send for Approval button. Step 13. Click OK to confirm or cancel to decline. Step 14. Click the printer image to print off receipt to pay. We will now proceed to customer registration. As customers walk into your branch with their remitter registration forms with the RRR clearly stated on it, the branch user will be required to take the following steps. Step 1. 
Select Branch Operations menu and click the Process RRR submenu. Step 2. Obtain RRR from the customer, key it into the required field, and click Continue to retrieve the transaction details prefilled by the customer. Step 3. Verify the signatures on the form in accordance with the customer's mandate and submit to send the request to the head office for PIN and PAN generation or cancel to decline. For standing order and direct debit mandate activation, kindly follow the same steps for customer registration. Please note that the final approval for standing order or direct debit mandate activation is given by the branch approver. To approve pending transactions initiated by a branch user, you are required to take the following steps. Step 1. Click the Go to Inbox button. Step 2. Click on the subject of the transaction you want to approve. Step 3. Provide answer using your PSN rule in combination with the remitter questions shown. Pending transactions are displayed. Step 4. You may click the View button to show details of transaction for your review. Step 5. Select appropriate radio button to approve the transaction. Then click Post Transaction to approve transaction for processing. The teller still of funds holding account is debited for onward processing to beneficiary's account. Teller can also click on the printer icon to print off receipt to payer. We will now proceed to reports. Remitter provides you with a flexible report builder to view reports for branch processed RRR. This report gives details of RRR transactions that have been processed within your branch. To view this report, step one, select the report menu and click on RRR report submenu. Step two, specify desired search criteria and click the view report button. Please note that the report has several parameters you can spool by and can also be viewed in multiple formats. The branch user can only run reports for transactions processed by him or her. A branch approver can run reports for transactions processed by all users in the branch. You can also view branch processed RRR income report. This report gives details of the income earned on transactions carried out within your branch. To view this report, Step 1. Select the Reports menu and click on Income Report submenu. Step 2. Select the Branch Income radio button and specify the desired search criteria, then click the View Report button. Note. This report shows the income earned on transactions carried out on the platform within the branch. The report has several parameters you can spool by and can also be viewed in multiple formats. You can also view historical and comparative performance reports to know the branch's performance over specified periods of time. I hope this tutorial helps. Thanks for watching.